Hey guys, it's your girl Urban Chick One, and yes, I did skip a day. It was just a crazy, hectic day yesterday. Um, yeah. So hey, I'm human. Things happen. So um, today is I believe day 17 of my YouTube blast. Today I'm going to talk about how do you revive your half wig. Have you ever had that half wig and you've had it for so long but now it's you loved it when you first got it but now it's just all matted and you just you're really tempted to throw it out but you liked it so much so this is a way you can maintain it or bring it back to life so you can wear it out again okay. Alright so here's the half wig. Okay so the first thing into when you get your half wig and you take it out of the package, I recommend after you wear it for the day, put it back in the package. Put it back the same way you received it. So usually they, um, half wigs come, usually there's a net on it like this. So put it, the net back on the wig. I have this one in it. And put it back in the plastic um, it came in. It's the same way like when you maintain your shoes, you're not, you know, like your really nice shoes, you're not going to have them lying around the floor. You're going to put them back in the shoe box if they're like your really nice, you know, sexy shoes. And then if you don't have the plastic it came back in, or you can't find it or you threw it away, I always put it, I always wrap mine in a plastic cap. I know this is crazy, but I just do it. I don't know why, I just think, oh, if I put it back in a plastic, it's going to like keep it nice I don't know whatever but that's what I do so I just have it like this and then I like try to tie it in so tight because my thing is well I guess this will help it from getting all tangled more than it is going to get so okay I'm taking it out taking the um this net off which rips. I've had this way for years. I don't wear it that often, but I've worn it enough, especially since it's curly. It is tangled. Mm. So I'm gonna try to see if I could like rock it tonight. Mm. So just, you know, carefully take it out. If it's gotten matted. Oh God, and the clip came. It's all, the clip is like halfway out. <laughs> Man. I'm going to try my best to bring this half wig back to life. It is just a mess. Okay, so I'm going to like, you know, just take it, all the tangles from the inside of the net first. That's like really important before you even thinking about, you know, taking the tangles out. Like it's all, look at that, look at that. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> but it's good to, you know, keep it in a net and everything because if you don't, it would just, it would have been even worse than this like to the point where you, you just might as well not even waste your time you would just have to throw it away um so it's good to to you know keep them store them in a good way oh gosh i got bobby pins all in here oh man <laughs> so after you just take out, out out as much as you can from this part you know um And I really use this one because it's curly and it's synthetic. So this is definitely going to be um, a, a lot of work. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's like, see, it's really tangled. So I think the best thing to do is get detangling spray. Spray lightly. You don't want it to be too wet. So I'm just going to, hope you can see that. I'm just going to spray lightly. Especially the inside. Oof. Shake. And I'm just going to run my hands through it. I'm not going to use a brush because then that's going to definitely mess up the curls even more. Uh, and if you just oiled your hair, make sure your hands aren't like drenched in oil because you don't want to weigh the wig down. But see, so that's definitely um helping loosen up the curl bringing it back to life so yeah the tangling spray is a miracle <laughs> when it comes to getting your half wig right <laughs> and tight and straight i might put a little bit more also if this is so matted where you can't even like do anything i recommend just cutting it cutting it off 
But since this isn't a bag, I might just leave it actually, because it's not like people are gonna see the bag, like lift up the hair and see how it looks like underneath. Okay, so. Thinking that's that's looking kind of good. Yeah, let me look in the mirror. Get a little bit right here. It's like a big um. How that looking? Not bad. Okay, just be really gentle with it, you know. And then if you can't, you can't bring back to life, I'm sorry, but you might just have to throw, 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 you gotta throw her out. <laughs> um, so yeah, so and then my last thing I would do is put oil sheen. Now, if you do have a straight wig, um, it is, and especially if it's, if it's synthetic, but it's a straight wig, I would, it's okay to comb it. I, this, this, I think is, this is called a wig comb. It's from Salon, Salon Elements. This comb right here? This is a wig comb. Wig comb. It gets out tangles like nobody's business. It's three rows and it's like sharp. It's pretty good. Um, so this helps get tangles out. So if it's straight, even synthetic, then I will comb it, comb it, and use the tangling spray. But if it's curly and synthetic like this, I would just hand comb it because if you start combing it, the, the curls are gonna drop. It might get just worse. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to try to put it on. I'm just going to put a do-rag on. Usually I put, people put stocking caps, but the fact that it's not satin, I don't like stocking caps. So, I'm going to look in the mirror while I'm doing this too. I'm, I'm like, because I was going through my um, hair bin, <laughs> like a whole bin full of hair and tools and curlers and iron, flat irons and everything. Everything you can imagine. And I was like, oh, I remember this half wig. I used to wear this years ago. I still can't believe I have it. So, I've thrown like a lot out, but certain ones I'm like, oh, I can still probably rock it. Probably. So, I'm like, this is one of those probably nights. <laughs> okay, so, there you go. I feel like I should have left less out. At least it's a little bit curly. So let me try to put this on right now. And it's just, this one is really curly. It's really cute. The clips on the side broke. I don't even think it makes sense to even like try to use them. I'm not <laughs> they broke, so I'm just gonna use these in the in the bag. And the one in the front. Also you can use if you feel like your half wig isn't on enough, you can use bobby pins to make it stay on the side. So like my right here, my clip is just it's dangling like I should I'm not even gonna try to like work with it it's just gonna stay there but it's not <laughs> it's not gonna like help so I'm just gonna put my bobby pin in and try to put it in the in and where my durag is at and then let's add pressure so it, it it leads to pressure on there you go so it'll stay it won't move anywhere Oh shoot, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. And if you if you want to, you can even add more um, oil sheen. But I think the key, the key is into making your half wig last long is the way you store it. That's the key. Like, keep it in the net. That really helps when it comes to tangles. I've had this half wig for years, and this is curly, synthetic here. And this is like a $20 half wig. It's not even anything special. It's not no high-end brand, like, so I think it was Ultra. I wish I had the original package so I can tell y'all what type of halfway this is. But yeah, that's the key, like, 
this if you store it the right way then it'll last a long time like it it will i'm telling you so i think that's the best way to go i'm gonna keep working with this and i'll come back and show y'all the end results okay hey guys i'm back so this is the end results um i decided to do a little side um a side um put all the hair on one side but yeah i think that's the best way to go if you know if your wig is just all yeah wig all over the place you don't know what to do i decided to do the little um side sweep i think it's really cute let me look in the mirror okay sorry about that so like i was saying in order to hold my you know just to hold it to the side i use one of these clips like you know you get it from to hair accessory so i oh hold like <laughs> So it'll like bring it all over and just hold. Um, it's not a lot of pressure though, so I think I might use a couple of bobby pins um, to give it an extra hold. So I'm gonna do that. Like it helps sweep it over, but it's still like it's not as tight as I want it to be. So I'm gonna just add one or two bobby pins, and I'll even keep my wig even more secure. So. So yeah, in order for your half wig to last, um, please store it the right way. Like keep it closed and tight so it doesn't tangle. Don't just throw it or leave it somewhere. Keep put a net on it. And if you want, I don't know, plastic cap on top of that and your wig. And then another thing, a good thing about the plastic cap, it keeps dust out. Because I've had this for years, man. There was one... That was mad dusty and just nasty because I didn't put a plastic cap. So I'm like, this keeps dust and all, a whole lot of crap from entering your hair. Especially if it's synthetic because this is like a material. You know, you don't want crap getting into it if you store it somewhere for a long time. So um, this is the end results. And just tell me what y'all like and what do y'all think. And again, again, this sugar your girl, Chick 1. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.